What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out nine rare times Undertaker shockingly went off script in WWE. This should be an interesting video. I definitely want to check out some of the times he, you know, kind of deviated from the script. I think the Undertaker is one of those individuals, especially in WWE, since he was so loyal to the business or well to uh WWE and Vince McMahon, that he probably was one of the few individuals that Vince would would allow to have liberties when it came to live television and if he has to change up something in a match or in a promo he's one of those guys that didn't really have to you know i guess you could say follow it follow the uh the script to a t because obviously um vince mcmahon trusted his judgment there's a few wrestlers that vince mcmahon will allow to kind of deviate from the script and i would believe the undertaker is one of them so we're going to check out some of these moments uh by wrestlemania appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel link to the original videos down below and let's get into it is one of if not the single most respected talent in wwe history not even throughout his three decade long career the dead man managed to remain it's not even a speculation it's fact professional and he's always put wwe first one of the things that vince mcmahon liked about the dead man was that he would always follow his direction no matter what mcmahon wanted him to do whether that be put over maven or even lose mm -hmm. to brock lesnar at wrestlemania 30 take was willing to do it However, on rare occasions, The Undertaker decided to deviate off script and do his own thing. I love Join that. us now as WrestleMania looks at nine times The Undertaker <laughs> shot. He sat up in the rock like, oh, sit your ass back down. <laughs> Kingly went off script in WWE. Love it. Subscribe to WrestleMania if you haven't already. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channels, WrestleMania Shorts, and our new channel, WrestleMania Hindi. Number 9. Breaking Character at a House Show mm. The Undertaker's character and mannerisms were usually set in stone, so the dead man rarely did anything different when it came to how he moved and wrestled when portraying the dead man persona. I think I know what's going However, in 2009, about. he decided to rip up the scripted characterization of his persona and he went absolutely nuts. I think I know what's going During a about. house show match, The Undertaker was waiting for a tag and for whatever mm -hmm. reason, he was truly feeling the crowd's response. Yeah, he was turning the dead up. man started running <laughs> corner a corner and even poured a bottle of water over his head this was a humorous yet fantastic moment and the clip has since gone viral in mm -hmm. recent years one of the wrestlers involved in the match was cody rhodes who took to twitter in february of 2023 to react to the hilarious clip what did he say oh. not sure he didn't move 90 percent of the match and then all of a sudden he went wild he wanted <laughs> to get that tag and welcome the hard way a few rookies to the sport and he did <laughs> he just went crazy like give me in man give me in i'm ready to beat some beat some people up <laughs> inside hell in a cell a 2015 saw the final ever match between taker and his arch rival brock lesnar the two collided inside hell in a cell and the match exceeded all expectations mm -hmm. what was interesting about the match is both taker and lesnar went off script WWE had a strict no blood policy since 2008, but these two decided to ignore WWE's mandate and deliver bloodshed inside the cell. Mm -hmm. Both men would bleed at different points of the match, and this enraged Vince McMahon <laughs> even sent a medic down to the ring. Whilst both men going off script in the match was criticized by McMahon, fans absolutely loved it. Fans felt like the match had an aura of an old school Hell in a Cell match, Facts. where the bloodshed had been badly missed from prior installments of the popular match type. Number seven, abandoning script. And this is one of those things where if it's anybody else, they would instantly be damn near fired or they would be buried subsequently. They would be, their push, whatever push they had would be destroyed. If it's anybody else that obviously Vince McMahon doesn't have in high regard, if it's like somebody lowering the car and they did this, oh, they're damn near out the company. They, they either, they're gonna, either Vince is going to have them on contract and bury them to <laughs> to just unbelievable heights or or that he's gonna fire them but since it's the undertaker and brock he can be as mad as he want but guess what it made for a good match made for it enhanced the match that much more and people enjoyed it so did spots well, the main event of WrestleMania 33 saw The Undertaker take on Roman Reigns. This was initially going to be The Undertaker's final ever WWE mm -hmm. match, and the match was supposed to see the dead man put over Reigns. 
Sadly, due to the Undertaker's age, conditioning and prior issue with injuries, he was forced to abandon scripted spots in the match. Mm. The match was poorly received and it's hard to rewatch The Undertaker struggle in this manner. Facts. The dead man going off script occurred several times during the course of the matchup, yeah. such as when he was supposed to flip over onto Roman Reigns so that Reigns could deliver a tombstone. The dead man was simply too exhausted yeah, to perform the it. spot, so we abandoned it, and he and Reigns had to improvise. Yeah, Taker was utterly it. ashamed of the quality of the match, and he would even apologize to Reigns for the poor quality on offer. Thankfully, before his retirement in 2020, The Undertaker would be able to have a number of high-profile matches which highlighted the mm -hmm. old Undertaker and he'd be able to ride off into the sunset with his head held high. Yep. Number 6. The Bike Stall SmackDown's first ever brand exclusive Wasn't pay per view, Vengeance 2003, featured a stacked card, and one of the matches that fans were excited for was a young John Cena uh, taking on the Undertaker. John Cena. Unfortunately, Fang before the match John had even Cena. begun, Taker was forced to improvise and go off script. During this time, The Undertaker would come down to the ring on a motorcycle. However, his bike stalled during his entrance, and this led to Taker going off script and simply walking down the ring. Yeah, yeah, no This wasn't a choice. big deal in hindsight, but yeah. the motorcycle was a key part of his persona and presentation at the time, so being forced to go off script and change his iconic entrance was no doubt a major inconvenience for the WWE Hall of Famer. I mean, yeah, no other choice. Improvised entrance. And the Undertaker walked into the 2010 Elimination Chamber event as world champion, but something seriously went oh, wrong with his yeah. entrance, forcing the dead man to the go pyro. completely off script and storm to the ring. During his iconic entrance, the Undertaker's pyro dangerously malfunctioned, and this Ooh. resulted in him receiving second degree burns. His hat and coat were virtually Jeez. destroyed, and Taker had no choice but to abandon his scripted entrance and charge straight down to the Elimination Chamber. And he was still went out there and did the match after getting damn near set ablaze. That's. You gotta have love for the business to do that, bro. <laughs> uh, if you guys have ever been burned, I've been burned by like a uh, uh, an iron. Like I was ironing clothes, and I, I think I forgot it was on, and I accidentally touched it or brushed against it, and it was just a little burn. Like I, it was like maybe for a second, if that. And bro, just it was, it just was hurting for like the rest of the day. So I can only imagine being set ablaze before a grueling elimination chamber match and to be out there doing what you got to do, bro. That's insane. The pain that the dead man was in was so severe that Chris Jericho claimed he could smell his flesh burning. And that bro, I, dog, that see, I just said just me getting a little touching iron just a little bit and it was burning for the rest of the day for me. He had was engulfed in flames damn near for a second or two and was in pain. Brought us and still wrestled. Jesus. That Taker had to apply cold water to his burns to try and minimize the pain. The Undertaker discussed this infamous incident during their appearance on the Broken Skull Sessions podcast. The adrenaline needle is peaked right here. I'm beside myself. I'm looking down at my chest because my chest is just bubbling up right now. Ooh. My flesh is just rolling up. Look at me here, I'm pouring water all over myself to cool myself down. I knew I had to sit in that pod for 20 minutes, oh and then I had God. to work another 20 minutes after getting in, and I'm trying to access where I'm at physically with the burns, because all I could smell was my burnt hair and flesh. <laughs> Number 4. Jesus. Breaking into Laughter this While the WrestleMania right 30 here. match between The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar was iconic, iconic in the sense that the WrestleMania streak was finally broken, fans were left disappointed with the quality of the match on offer. Mm -hmm. This was mainly due to the dead man suffering a severe concussion, so we couldn't meet the high standards fans yeah. had of him. The two would have a chance to redeem the quality of the WrestleMania 30 match at the SummerSlam pay-per-view in 2015. Oh, man, boy, and this match they. was undeniably better. Oh, the man. match was highly entertaining oh, and the dead man so even good. let loose and decided to add an element of comedy into the this match. Was so good. In a clearly unscripted <laughs> spot in the match, The Undertaker performed his trademark sit-up and began to copy <laughs> Lesnar's lap. Oh, bro, that shit was so funny, bro. Watching that live, The Undertaker, <laughs> that shit was great. It was an unbelievable moment to witness and that one of the most so replayable great. clips from The Undertaker's illustrious career. So great. Number 3. Super Showdown Disaster 
For the longest time, The Undertaker vs mm. Goldberg seemed like a certified dream match in WWE. Definitely However, when the match finally took place in 2019 at the Super Showdown event, it went down as one of the worst matches of the modern era. Uh. It was a complete failure in every aspect as Goldberg reportedly knocked himself out and this led to a number yep. of reckless botched spots including Goldberg dropping the oh. penum on his head. Oh, 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 the Undertaker, who notoriously prided himself on delivering elite level matches, decided enough was enough towards the final stage stages of the match. Instead of following the scripted finish, the dead man called an audible, performed a lackluster looking chokeslam yeah. and pinned Goldberg to get the win. It wasn't the finest work of The Undertaker's career and he's even gone on to extensively criticize the match in a number of high profile of interviews. Number two, giving The Rock the win. One of the greatest traits The Undertaker has as a performer was his selflessness in the ring. Mm -hmm. This was on full display in 1998 when The Undertaker decided to call an audible, go off script and put over The Rock during a match on Raw. The match in question saw The Rock team with Mankind and Ken Shamrock to take on the Brothers of Destruction. Taker revealed this thrilling story during an appearance on Cold as Balls with Kevin Hart and the former champion revealed, we were in a match on Monday Night Raw, a bunch of different things going on. It kind of got screwed up and I had to do an audible. I had to change things. I'm the tenured vet there, right? And I remember telling him, all right, kid, it's your night. He hit me with the rock bottom. He beat me. It was the right thing to do for business. I told Vince, I said, look, we were in trouble time-wise. He mm. said, I trust you. See? And number one. And that's, and that's why I said it at the beginning of the video. Vince, when he entrusts certain... Uh, superstars, certain wrestlers, they can go off script because he trusts their judgment. He trusts they're not going to do anything to hurt the brand. And Undertaker is one of those guys, without a doubt. Hell in a Cell commotion. It's well documented just how significant the 98 Hell in a Cell match between Taker and Mankind ended Obviously. up being. The match is arguably one of the most well-known matches of all time. For sure. Although the match is almost 25 years old, we're still learning key details about the match. One of the things that was revealed recently by Taker himself was that he improvised and went off script during the beloved match. One of the best spots in the match saw Terry Funk enter the cell only to be chokeslammed by the dead man. <laughs> According to Taker, this wasn't initially in the script for the match, and he would discuss this during an interview with Complex. I don't know what kind of shape mix in, right? But then again, you just can't stand there and look around. For sure. So there's a wrestler in the ring. Somebody's going to get chokeslammed, and <laughs> Terry Funk, he was the recipient. Up he went, and there's the shoe. It's funny that something the stature of that match was an iconic moment of Terry Funk losing his shoe to a choke slam. <laughs> well, they have it, folks. He was selling it too on the ground. He, went off. he was writhing in pain. This is a great one. The Undertaker. He 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 he's a legend. He's a goat. Um, he shows why you know, like when you're passionate about something, you give it your all. And The Undertaker gave two hundred percent to the business and to wwe it sh he shows that he shows that he showed that every time he walked in that squared circle as they say he gave it his all even when he didn't have much to give he still gave it his all and vince could trust him to do the right thing for the business and he he always did man so uh you know you know we just appreciate what he's done for the business and uh just you know look back uh, at the good times we had watching The Undertaker entertain us, man. So comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite Undertaker moment, whether it's promo, whether it's match, whether it's segment. Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys on the channel. Road to 150K. Now I'm still getting the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion World. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one. Peace.